I can't. Hello, what a pleasant Hi. surprise. Care to join me for some champagne? <laughs> it's a little early for me, Dorian. Then how about just some oysters? Yeah, no thanks. What I what I want to do is I want to go say hi to my daughter over there. Oh, it looks like mother and daughter are having a, an intimate, private conversation. So why don't you just give them a little time? Besides which, what's the harm in your sitting down with me for a while? I do want to straighten out a few things with you, once and for all. Hello. Hello. Oh, what's this? This is white chocolate caramel latte cheesecake for the ladies from the gentleman across the room. Clint? <laughs> oh, uh, please thank Mr. Jones for us. Certainly will. Mm. Oh, great. Well, who is Mr. Jones, huh? And why is he sending us? No, you. Dessert. Mom, why did you think that Dad sent over the dessert? Is there something going on between the two of you? Maybe we do need to clear up a couple of things, and we can begin with how you used Lindsay to keep Vicky and me from having a dinner. Mm-hmm. All right, now that was uh, just a misunderstanding. Lindsay and I were having this conversation, and she took it upon herself to... Dorian, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. I wanted to be alone with you. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Okay, and we were having a perfectly marvelous time before Vicky came along. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm dating Vicky now. Yeah? So what? I mean, there's nothing wrong with a man playing the field, is there? I have heard of one man dating two women before, and it's not as if the two of you are still married. Dating, Vicky, right? It's not as if you're in an exclusive relationship, or are you? No, 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 but Vicky and I haven't even discussed that. We've, we've only been out on a few dates. Right. So there's no need to discuss it. Why bother asking her? We both know what she'll say. That you're not in high school anymore. That um, she has no right to ask for exclusivity. And as I said before, you have a right to play the field. Yeah. I have to admit, the field has always been very kind to me in the past. <laughs> what? It's not very difficult. You are a very attractive, charming, sensual man. Are you man. trying to flatter me into dating you? Why not? We both know that we are very attracted to each other. Hmm? Yes, I agree with that. You are a very attractive lady. Thank you. And can Vicky really give you hundred percent of herself emotionally, physically. Vicky is calm, cool, and collected. Vicky is ice, whereas I am fire. When you and Dad came to John's apartment, the both of you were trying to make it very clear that you didn't come together, and I could have sworn that you were blushing. You know, sweetheart, um, your father and I, we had dinner. That's it, end of discussion. Let's get back to the gentleman who sent you dessert. I want to rebuild the business, but I want to diversify a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You know, probably get more into development because I don't want everything I own going up in flames again. Hmm? Well, no, of course not, but development can be risky. Walking across the street can be risky too. But I have some good people on my side and I made some mistakes in the past. I just want to make sure I don't make the same mistakes over again, you know? In order to change, you've got to want to change. Amen. Yes, and then there are some people who shall remain nameless who will never change. How about Chucks? Excuse me? Chucks? 
The steakhouse in Lantano Gardens. I know where Chuck's is. What about it? I'm asking you out on a date. <laughs> Dorian, you are really something else. You know I am. But I don't know if it's quite the right time for me to be going out with you. Fine. The offer stands. Call me, and I'm sure you will. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to take this. This is business. Oh. Mrs. Davison, it was a pleasure, and I mean a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to meet you. And you. I hope to see you soon. Yo. What? 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 You two get along very well. Well, I don't know. It's because we have a few things in common, and he's pretty easy to talk to. Unlike someone else you know. We're just friends, <sighs> Yes, Sonny, I know that's how you feel. But I have to tell you, I think that Mr. Jones may have a little bit more than friendship on his mind. Dorian, it's always very interesting having a conversation with you. And once again, you have not let me down. <laughs> well, that's one thing in my favor. Uh, you have many things in your favor, believe me. But at the moment, if you don't mind, I would... Uh... I'd like to say hello to my daughter. Well, first, say goodbye to me. Oh. Bye. Well, hello, you two. Oh. We were just finishing lunch. Huh? With a flourish, I see. I am. Um, I gotta get going. All right. Good to see you, Dad. Yeah. Mom, thanks for lunch. Bye, darling. Was it uh, something I said? Oh, no, no. I can absolutely assure you it was nothing that you said. Okay. So, you seem to be having a rather lively conversation with Dorian. What on earth is she up to now? Oh, actually, not much. Never mind. You know what? It's absolutely none of my business what you and Dorian talk about. We don't have an exclusive relationship, and given our history... Vicky! Oh, my goodness, I'm sorry. I have to leave. And you have lipstick all over your cheek. Okay. Saturday, 8 o'clock. What? A reservation at Chuck's. <laughs> <laughs>